In this video I'm going to show how to report spammers, so spamming competition, uh, who are spamming Google My Business or are using black hat link building or are um, using hidden text, doorway pages, cloaking or sneaky redirects. So there's three ways to do it. Uh, they're listed here in the Sasana task and uh, we would share this with you. So you can see the first step here, report competitors who are using spammy business name in Google My Business. There's a form, this is uh, a new form that came in uh, 2019. Okay, and um, then I have them here as subtasks as well. So Google My Business Spam, if you click this, this gives you more details. So here's that form that I mentioned right here. That's the same thing. Right, so that's the first step. Uh, if you click this, you're taken to this complaint form. And just read everything that's asked here. You know, you got to put your own name, your email address. Uh, name of entity organization that is getting impacted. So now you, if you're looking at, for example, Scrap Car Removal Toronto, you can see that what you want to do is you want to click the website and see that it matches the company name. That's the first step. You can see this guy's spamming Autoglass Haven. So the way you would report this guy is first you would click through right here. And then you would say, uh, you can see I already reported them, so that's why it's orange for you. It won't be suggest and edit. That's the link you want to click. And there's these two options, change name, or other details or remove this place. Mark is closed, non-existent, or duplicate. So uh, for name change, of course, you're going to go here and you're going to enter the name, uh, Auto Haven. And then uh, if the category is wrong or anything like that, this place is located... Um, so I'm, I'm going to explain, explain to you with regards to people who spam addresses. And then uh, you would just click send, right? So now uh, you would come back here and, and enter name of, of the entity organization that is getting impacted. And you would put uh, just their website, I guess. And then uh, right here, so identify what what issue it is title is the name of the, the business I mean it should say name but it's title what is the public URL of the location and then it tells you if you have many uh, URLs to report recommend submitting 10 to 100 at a time for faster processing time you can submit, submit multiple URLs by clicking add additional links so right here you can add additional ones um, now upload a file what you can do is just um, move this out like this and just show this side by side and take a screenshot of it you know and upload it you could even uh, in Photoshop take that screenshot and add some comments that's going to explain to Google and it's asking for a public URL so let's just read everything it's pretty straightforward and name of the entity organization is getting impacted um, yeah, that may, may, even if you put auto haven you know you can do that as well right and then you would submit this okay so now if the issue is with an address so what, what I want you to do is if you go to Google Maps so if we take this guy's address so you're gonna click the satellite image then you're going to zoom in so you can see where his business is. Usually you zoom in on the street here. Okay, you're going to go to street view and then you're going to see that there's no sign here. You know, so this is the building right here so you can take a screenshot of it. Just to show that there's there's no shot. Make sure you, you, you capture the address up here as well. Right. And then you would send those details as an attachment. Okay, and then another another instance can be if there's if there's duplicate listings of the same company. So that's the first step. I guess it's two steps. First, you uh, edit, su suggest an edit, then you submit the form, and then if you go back here, and there's another way actually here as well. If you go right here, it says this is the old way to do it, and it's explained here. It's quite simple. So if you can just read over this. Essentially, uh, I also included the Google Doc report spam template. So what this is saying is to uh, to report it in a forum, spam and policy board. 
So if you click that, it'll take you to the Google forum where you can report it, and then you, you're gonna click Add here, and um, and add the details, you know, the, the subject. So you would say Google my business name spam, and then uh, you would you would submit a URL to this. So you would click Share, and then you would make sure that um, anyone with the link can view. Okay, and then you would, you would share this link right here. And you would fill out these details, right? So that's essentially uh, it. And then people in the forum would see it and they could also report it, which will speed up the process. Okay, so for certain, certain, certain competitors that are really spamming, I'd like you to do both of these steps just because it's going to make sure that it gets, uh, gets reported the quickest. So now if you go back here, that was this section, report link building spam, and uh, you would just fill out this form. You know, website selling links, website buying links, additional details. So, for example, um, we used Ahrefs. And if we go to Scrap Car Move Toronto, if we go to their website, and we plug that into here and we go site explorer so if we go um, backlinks you can see this guy has a lot of backlinks 27,000 uh, which for uh, for scrap car, sh car shop is a lot so uh, I'm suspecting these guys are spamming 720 referring domains and you can see you know this shop is in uh, in Canada but he's got a lot of Russian and then if you investigate a little bit further so if like if you look at this auto haven if you type in let's see for example or web design you're gonna see Dimitri selling out none of came up because sometimes uh, the website actually the first step here would be uh, to see if, if there's in the footer you know built by or SEO by a lot of times these spammers will do that and then if not, then uh, we, we just go to Google and type in, you know, the, the, the URL or the company name and an SEO or web design. And we just look, look through here and see if we can find somebody. And in this case, uh, we were able to find this guy um, who's just an independent freelancer. It says director of sales marketing at Auto Haven, right? So we know, it, and it's in North York, so we know it's him. And uh, he's the guy that's building up, building all these uh bad backlinks so uh, he's, a, he's a good prospect to report and um, yeah additional details so we can include a list of uh, uh, a Google sheet so you can download some of these links and uh, get, give them a sample of links they're using you know um, and we would take this guy's URL and plug it in here website selling links right and then website buying links would be uh, Auto Haven. We put additional details that, that have a lot of backlinks, and like I said, um, we would export this and give Google a sample of some URLs, and we would share with them the, the, the URL to the Google Sheet that has these links, and then just click Submit. That's link building spam. And then uh, the third one is hidden text or doorway pages or sneaky redirects that can be uh, filled out right here and you can just uh, read the details it's self-explanatory alright so I hope that sums it up and if you have any questions let me know take care